Okay, here we go. So we've got the fan fully automated. So let me turn on the ceiling light. So that's the full brightness. I can have any intensity from, there's 4% up to full brightness, 100%. I can turn that off. And then I can turn on the night light. So I got that for nighttime use. And then this one, you won't see anything, but there's the fan running. So one drawback or downside of this uh, Monoprice dual relay is that it doesn't report energy, but it's showing about 22 watts for the fan. Yeah, actually, if I open up the, uh, there's a little blocker, so I'll say it's 24 watts for the fan. That was one thing I did not know was how much power the fan uses, but it's a pretty good breeze there. Maybe I'll get a piece of paper so you can see that. I think this is a 140 CFM, if I remember right. It's so there we go. Yeah, 24 watts. I'll pl punch that in for the power on the fan. So maybe we can take a look at that real quick here. Finally figured out how to add the watts to the Monoprice Dual Relay Z-Wave module. So here I have my night light in my sauce fan. And now you can see it's reading 0 watts. If I turn it on, the light is on. It's now reading 1 watt. And what I need to do now is the same thing for the exhaust fan. So the way you do that, you go to the device properties. So you go down to advanced. And what you need to do is create a new service because this device does not come pre-configured with any sort of energy or power monitoring. If it did, there would be a variable here with that parameter. So the way you create that is you have to add a new service and I got this out of the MiCasaVerde.com support forum. You have to create this new service and let me zoom in there so you can see this. So there's two things you have to do. One is creating a new service that has this exact string and I'll put these in the video description what that does is it says you're creating an energy meter service and then you want to create a variable called user supplied wattage so let's just go and copy that's the easiest way to do these just copy and paste because it's a lot of characters and it's got to be spelled exactly right or it doesn't do anything so we'll copy and paste and now this one saw we measured the power of the fan about 24 watts so now you have to add that new service but it doesn't show up until you do reload engine which reloads all of the Lua scripts so let's zoom out here but you can see here it's running Lua startup bunch of different scripts so you wait till all of these finish up here and we should be there so now let's see if this goes we'll turn the fan on the fan is running and right there if we zoom in on that you can see it now says 24 watts and if we turn it off zero watts this user supplied wattage, it's only an integer value. So you've got my light working. I can run the dimmer. I can turn the fan on and off. I can monitor energy. I added the service and the variable and the value here. And once you add that, it now shows up under variables. So if I later decide I want to change this from 24 to 23 I could do that and it's now just changed that value in the device so I don't have to go through and recreate everything let's see if that number yeah see how the number is changed from 24 to 23 so we've got black which is 
Yeah, there's the fan wattage showing. So you can see it's on, and then I changed it from 24 down to 23. So that looks like it's working. Let me zoom in a little bit so we can see that. There's where I changed it from 24 to 23, then I turned it off, and then I turned it back on, and then now it's off again. So yeah, that, that shows you how you can then uh, monitor that. So you're integrating your home automation controller and also integrating it with your energy monitoring. So at the end of the month, you can look and see how much energy did I use for lighting. Yeah, I just wanted to show you how to add these watts readings to binary light devices, just on-off devices that don't include watts. It's pretty easy to add. Three lines of code, you add the service, you add the variable, and then you add the value. Reload the controller and you're good to go. So I just thought I'd pass that on, show you how to do that. And as always, thanks for watching.